So hello everyone. Today we have a special guest on our channel. We have Arvind Hari Kumar, who's also a batchmate of mine. So Arvind, would you like to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hey everyone. Uh, my name is Arvind. I am from Kerala, and currently I'm doing my internship with Oracle. After which I'll be joining full time sometime in August. And um, Ashish is like one of the first guys I met in college. Yeah. And I mean, I used to copy from him in all the lab <laughs> exams because he used to sit near me. Yeah. and he got me through college in a way actually you say that <laughs> yeah you can say that he passed because of me <laughs> no i'm kidding he's, <laughs> yeah, very, yeah. he's very smart i'm kidding yeah arvin so like let's talk about your interview experience to rackle tell us about your experience like everything in details the round the problems everything yeah yeah so oracle came to our campus in august last year yes and they basically have three rounds so the first one is a general test and this test is some of you would say it is very tiring because it has all the sections like starting from fonts and verbs to puzzles and then you have core concepts mm. and the main thing is that you have to navigate through all these sections and some of my friends were even telling me if you lose your connection in between you have mm. to start over again so that that test basically tests out everything we have learned in our four years of btech so that was kind of a different thing i felt that oracle has compared to different mm. companies and like that test was about one one and a half hours i think and the second one was the coding test and this was hosted on hacker rank i think or um, their own website but then it had like three questions the first two ones were based on dynamic programming and <laughs> it was yeah <laughs> and the third one was on graph and like the first two ones i completed and the third one i could not do but then i think the criteria was whoever got two out of three because i go out to the next round and after this round about 30 to 40 people were selected for the interviews and that was it and coming to the interviews the good thing about the oracle interviews is that this the whole process completes in one day and you'll get the result by night mm. but then the negative thing is that you have to sit in front of your yeah. laptop like the whole day all day and the coincidental fact is that that was my birthday as well so on my birthday i had to sit in front of the laptop <laughs> for like starting from 9 yeah. but then yeah uh, mixed feelings i would say yeah. so in the interview um what basically happens is that they host it on zoom right so you have to get on at like 9 and then they have breakout rooms mm-hmm. so the thing is that they move you around to different breakout rooms whenever our interview is available so there is not like fixed a time slot mm-hmm. where you have to go online and uh, the interview consists of three rounds the first two were technical and the third one was kind of managerial i would say so the first two were similar and the second one asked me a bit deeper questions so the questions uh, i would say oracle is obsessed with strings because all the coding questions i got was based on strings mm-hmm. so like the ones i remember is like the find the first repeating character in a string mm-hmm. so you can do that using hash maps and I, that was basically what i was doing and you, they ask sql queries so i think you can manage if you know join a uh, group by having things like that there are questions on core concepts obviously like oops bbms c and everything then you have questions on projects so projects you have to be really strong mm. and you have to put in the projects where you actually did all the work and then you must be ready to what, uh, explain what are they ask and another thing about oracle is that they have puzzles so they have diff- different puzzles and i uh, some for some guys for me it was not there but then for some people there was like an architecture around like a business architecture mm. around where they give you a scenario Mm-hmm. and they ask you how you would design a system so you have to tell them starting from how you would connect the database how you would manage the traffic the network traffic how you do the resource provisioning mm-hmm. things like that and coming to that brings us to the third round so that was uh, like a managerial round so a manager at oracle was interviewing me and he also asked me a coding question even though it was kind of supposed to be an extra round but <laughs> that was fine yes things <laughs> and then he also asked me a puzzle so you guys can think about this puzzle so the puzzle was that you have to find the number of zeros from the numbers starting from 1 should to i 1, get 000. a pen and paper 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you can tell them to write the answers in the comment section. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so so from 1 to 1000 you have to count how many zeros are there. Mm. So this sounds a little straightforward but what is actually testing is how you think. <laughs> so your thought process. And that was kind of about the interviews and the result came like at midnight. So I couldn't sleep that night as well. <laughs> you got your birthday gift, and, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nice man, nice. Yeah, that was it. So, like, Oracle is a dream company for a lot of people. Like, it's a very good company, and a lot of people want to get into Oracle. So, what advice would you give to people who like are preparing for Oracle and who want to crack it? What advice would you give how to prepare? Yeah. yeah. Uh, so first, I'll share how I was preparing for it. Yeah. So it was lockdowns, and then I was like wasting my time at home, and <laughs> like, like, like when it else. was, <laughs> yeah, like everyone else. <laughs> And then it was like at May. May is like two months before our placements, mm-hmm. and it suddenly hit me in that I need to work. This is it. You have to get a good company. Mm-hmm. And so um, we had classes, right? Even then, I was going through different uh, websites about resources and stuff. And I found this particular thing in HackerRank called Placement Preparation Kit. So this basically has different sections mm-hmm. like arrays, strings, linked lists, graphs, hash maps, different. So whatever you learn. On that day, you can test out whatever you learned in that. So maybe you can like put the link in the mm-hmm. description. And that I sold around uh, most of that. Mm-hmm. So that gave me a bit of confidence. And as I mentioned, like the turning point in my um, coding ability, I would say, is when I completely learned hash map. I knew you so, would say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You might remember, like yeah, you were I do telling remember. the yes, apps, yes. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The importance of hash map. Yeah. So. I was going through different YouTube channels, right? You have Abdul Bari, he explains mm-hmm. all the concepts correctly. Mm-hmm. And then you have different code uh, channels like that. So I completely uh, understood what HashMap is. And that's when I realized you could apply HashMap to a lot of yeah. problems, like yes. different DP problems. So that was kind of a turning point. And then I was kind of weak at quants. So I dedicated some time just for learning quants because, I mean, a lot of people don't give uh, great emphasis on the preliminary test. Mm. So, like, I know a lot of people who are really good at coding, but then they go out mm. in the first round. So that is kind of important. So I gave some time just for cons. Mm. And then you have clicks for gigs, which is everyone yeah. knows clicks for gigs. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, there is a particular section called last minute notes in mm-hmm. gigs for gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that that has like core concepts, mm-hmm. and you can just revise that before an interview. Mm-hmm. And obviously, interview uh, experience, right? There are different archives of interview experience. So whatever company I was preparing for, I would go through that as well. And the last thing, like I learned different algorithms, like search, different search and sort algorithms, and uh, from Abdul Bari itself. And yeah, that was my preparation. So like advice, like I wouldn't say advice, we're all learning. So like one student to another, I would like just share my experience. So the main thing I would say is that you have to think out loud. So whatever question they ask you, they, uh, you have to let them know what you're thinking. You, you, you don't give a blank situation, right? So the interviewer is looking for reasons to hire you. They don't look mm. for reasons to reject you. So yeah. you have did to you, did you get that from that. my video? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. I, I heard it somewhere, I think. Yeah, you heard it in my video. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Ashish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So that is uh, really important. I would say you have to let them know what you're thinking, your thought processes, and they'll guide you surely. And like I said, you have to give emphasis on the preliminary test. Mm-hmm. Um, quants, verbals, they are important as much as coding is. And then the like the common things like time management, mm-hmm. like picking the right questions in the coding exams. Another thing uh, is that you have to research a little bit about the company before you go for the interview. Like you have to know who the CEO is what their history is, what they're working on right now, what their vision is for the future. Mm -hmm. So these kind of questions will help you to answer the question that obviously comes, why this company, why Oracle, or why Amazon, Mm -hmm. or whatever. That question is kind of obvious it will come. And you have to also look at uh, the company's tech stack. That that is uh, because if it's Oracle, I would say, because they are working in Java mostly. So the most of the questions I got in my interviews was in Java itself. So I think the questions that they might ask will be related to the tech stack they are using. Mm. Then um, the projects, right? Uh, as I mentioned, uh, you have to be really strong about your projects. 
like um if they ask you a question about your project and you are saying one of my other teammates did it mm-hmm. that is kind of leaving a bad mark on you so just lo- uh, like even if you didn't uh, do it you just learn whatever they did mm-hmm. so you can just speak a little bit about it and yeah uh, the last thing i would say is that it's never too late um you can prepare whenever uh, like as late as you want even if you have an interview next week it's never too late to start preparing and like a bit of optimism won't do you bad and yeah that is Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I would like to mention two things here. Like Arvind said before, you know, he started coding very late. It's not like he was into coding from first year, second year. Only when he got into third year, you know, he yeah, actually, I mean, yeah. I took biology in my plus one and plus yeah, two. Yeah, actually, so he had no idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And even in college, I looked at him in first and second year. You know, he was having fun. He was chilling and all. But as soon as third year started, you know, he started preparing very seriously. So that's what you should take note of him and you should learn from him, you know, that it's never too late. You should never sitting, sit moping around, you know, that I did nothing first and second year. You have a guy in front of you who cracked a super dream company by just preparing for a month or two. And second thing that I would like to mention is the way he said to prepare for Raikal, you can take that preparation and you can use it to crack any company, right? You can use yeah. that stuff. It applies to generally any company, you know. So not only Oracle, but the preparation strategy that he has, you can use it to crack pretty much any company. So thanks a lot Erwin for coming on my channel and sharing your knowledge and journey with me and my subscribers I hope it will help a lot of students so thank you thanks for having me and good luck guys